What's up guys, Raykul here, and um, hey, I thought of doing a quick, um, well, not a quick, but um, a couple of episodes, so this, a quick series about uh, what's after you reached T4, so what's next, and um, this will have a couple of episodes where I will basically um, explain what to expect and how to go forward, what things to focus on. So if you're a player who just started a game a couple of days ago, weeks ago, then you would want to pay attention to these vids because I will give you some good tips and um, you should know on what's ahead of you. If you're a player who's already close to T4 or um, already T4, then this is a bit especially for you because um, You'll be stuck at one point and you might do some things that aren't that important or... Yeah, you'll see. Uh, if you're a player who's already T4 and high in might, then you might just want to watch the vid because um, you could compare your account to my account. So, um, let's jump into it. So, uh, the first thing I would like to do is a quick recap on what you need to get to T4 and the first thing that you have to get to level 25 is uh, well you'll focus on getting this to 25 is your academy in order to get your academy to level 25 you need to max almost all your buildings including your battle hall your uh, prison and your altar and these three are uh, paid buildings what's a paid building Rachel? I'll tell you, hang on. So a paid building is uh, where you require gems, uh, items that require gems uh, to get them uh, to level up. For example, I'm going to show you. Let's go to the gem, uh, gem mall and unique. And if you scroll down, you will see uh, war tomes, steel cuffs and uh, soul crystals. So those are the three items that you will have to get to max your uh, battle hall, your prison and your altar. And um, it's a lot of gems guys, so uh, you should be prepared for that because uh, it, it's a long time. So I, I don't want to tell you incorrect information, but I think it's 200k gems each. So you're looking at a 600k gems for... Uh, for the three buildings only for the materials uh, in order to uh, to be able to uh, level them up so uh, if you were spending your gems on troops or researchers researches or on stuff that are aren't that important I'd say stop and just focus on these and then you will be able to get to T4 a lot faster and once those are done uh, you should focus on your economy tree uh, because uh, you'll have to max this out up until weight training one and resource harvesting one. Uh, you don't need the gem harvesting, I just did, uh, did that because of OCD. And you will also have to do your military tree up until um, army defense one, army offense one and army health one. So these need to be maxed, fully maxed out in order for you to be able to start your T4 researches. And all of these are a lot of um, resources, a lot of time, so you'll need to stack up on speed ups, uh, focus on hell events because uh, with that you will be able to get as much uh, out of these as possible. And um, then you will be able to get to T4. Okay, so what's after T4? As you can see, I got two barracks, so that means that I can build uh, 12k troops at a time, plus uh, what I get from um, from the extras. And so that's almost um, 13k troops at a time. Uh, look at the cost, guys. So it's it's a lot. It's 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 immense. So you need 12 million resources for um well for 13k troops almost so uh, 12 million resources of each plus uh half of the gold so that's six million so that's a lot it's 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 a lot so you'll have to be prepared for that 
you can do some substitute researches but um if you go to your upgrade uh, military tree but that won't help you much because um you'll have to actually um max these out in order for you to get a big reduction in the costs uh which which is not not too bad but um don't focus on these because you will need these at this point yet just yet um, by the way the subsidies uh, also help you in training and healing the troops so you'll need that in the future but uh, not just right now um, what I would suggest is uh, if you try to build a lot of troops in one go focus on Halluant and um, Build a lot of manners because manners will um, give you uh, training speed. So a level um, 25 manner gives you 20% uh, tra training speed. Uh, so build up your manners and make sure you're shielded or you're not joining uh, bigger rallies because uh, you won't be able to, um, to get your troops into the infirmaries and then they will just die. So you want to, uh, to ignore that. Um, in order for you to have more troops <laughs> and um, once you have a lot of manners and if you also can spend a little money on the game I would suggest buying the sweet deal packs and the um, gem packed packs because those give a lot of gems and um, speed ups and you will be able to uh, speed train a lot of troops also, another game changer is, once you're T4, your guild will be expecting you to join uh, rallies and uh, be a lot more active. Why? Because you're T4 and T4 is a lot stronger than T3 and um, if, if someone attacks your guild, then you will be one of those players who can uh, go and retaliate. So. Um, You'll have to fight a lot. Uh, also, if you're in a super active guild, then um, you will be expected to join Wonder Wars. Uh, so if you go to the Kingdom map, and if you click on the map, Kingdom Overview, you can see the base and six ports. You'll, you'll be expected to participate in these wars if you're in an active guild, because uh, you're a T4 and uh, your troops are needed. So be prepared for that. And um, another thing that I would suggest is uh, stay safe all the time because um, T4, as as you can, as as you just saw, it's it's not easy to to uh, build a lot of troops, and uh, you don't want to lose them. So once you got a good amount of T4, I would suggest switching to infirmaries because um, the more infirmaries you have, the more troops you can. Uh, you can get into the infirmary if you get if you get attacked, and um, best would be, of course, to try to avoid being attacked. So shelter, shield, and do fake rallies, or uh, send your uh, troops off to your guild maze that have uh, a longer shield on. Uh, if you don't, if you don't want to uh, shield, also if you if you prefer to shield, and you don't have uh, bigger shields like. Uh, 24 hours or 3 days or you can also get 7 days or uh, 14 days but those are a lot of gems and uh, you will basically live in a bubble I would suggest always having an anti-scout on because um, that way players won't uh, won't attack you most of the time and um, of course there are exceptions <laughs> um, yeah where was I? Of course, yeah. So um, use a shield, and what you can also do is, if you, you're using smaller shields, shields to um, to uh, set a reminder on your phone, an alarm. So uh, you you would always get a, a reminder to uh, renew your shield because you don't want to get attacked. Also, uh, once you're above a specific might, um, you don't just get solo attacked; you get rallied, and that way you'll lose a lot of troops. Uh, and uh, we will also go through um, what researchers to focus on and uh, the familiars because those will play a big role once you're T4 uh, and I'll tell you why but that that will be in the next episode so uh, guys if you like my vids uh, leave a like 
smash that subscribe button and uh, see you next time. Raycall over and out.